Hi, I'm Dalai Felinto and I'm here at Visigraph Impa in Brazil to showcase the, how to use the Oculus or the potential usage of Oculus with Blender with Grease Pencil. So, Grease Pencil is a way of uh, f a feature in Blender to allow you to do like to do storyboards in the viewport. So what you see here is the this grease pencil animation from Daniel Lara, Daniel Pepland, is on the Blender official site. I'm just using a vanilla Blender here, the Blender 2.76, but it's the one you can find if you go to the Downloads Blender, go to the Bleeding Edge zone and click on Developers Corner, and you can download the latest Blender because this is Blender that's uh, yet to be released, so it has some you know, very useful features which I'm going to show here. So, virtual reality. So I here have an add-on. If when I enable it, it allows me to use uh, the headset. So here I'm going to show you the preview of what the headset's looking at. Okay, I can see I'm just looking around with the headset. Let me move it. Okay. Here's the headset. If I look around, you get to see around. You can go up and down. If you want to see through the headset itself. Uh, where's the camera? No, over there. Just a second. Yep. You can see one of the eyes. One, what one of the eyes is looking at. Uh, the animation is there. This is awful. Yeah. Okay. So you can really inspect your scene in VR can see uh, you can see do you see the city in the background okay you see how if you if you uh, if I move the head around so I'm just moving the head around you get to see more or less detail of the city so you can inspect the different elements and uh, what else is here now I want to show the functionality that's built on the plugin so this was the preview um, let me show you, I can pause the VR, which means that the display itself it still shows something, but this something is basically the last, the latest part of the scene I was looking at. But performance is back uh, in Blender as it should be, and I can play, play again. So if you just change the preview, you can see that the Oculus is working once more. And I can also just render the HMD. Got these, these are other viewports. Uh, let me remove them. Just for performance reasons. Yep. So here's only the HMD is being rendered. Can even turn off preview. And I still get uh, the whole scene is still playing, it's still animated. Man, it should be arrested for recording uh, HMD being played but basically you can see the scene and everything is here uh, just by the way the difference the the reason you see flickering is because the HMD is at 75 hertz and my camera is whatever I don't even know so let's back here to see the other options we have uh, I I'm gonna turn on preview so it's easier um, I, I can lock the camera. Just hold on. So right now I'm not on the camera anymore. Okay, I'm looking at anything. Okay, right? I'm looking at any any place. Uh, but then I can, if I lock camera, the preview is always from the camera view. But I can still change and navigate the scene freely. So if I move the head, I move the HMD. I'm moving based on the camera position, but the, my navigation is free. We, and that allows for what I call assisted uh, virtual reality. So assisted virtual reality is when someone is operating the, the software. So I'm editing in Blender or drawing in Blender, and someone else is experiencing that in VR. 
So in Blender, I have Blender just as usual. I have a 3D viewport. I can just move the camera around. I can edit, go to edit mode, object mode, sculpting mode. But someone else is experiencing it and, and then giving me and providing feedback. It can be uh, the art, art director. It can be a client if you're in architecture. But you don't need to bother with looking in VR the whole time if you want to edit things in Blender. And pause here. So if I was... I don't even let's see. Ah. So if I wanted to change the objects, go to edit mode and whatnot, I have Blender just as I'm used as I'm used to. So something else I have is the recenter that's very useful. So if I move the head around, okay. So here I have the device, I'm gonna rotate it, I'm not touching it anymore, and now it's when I'm facing forward. I press recenter and it's recentered again. I can look around. It's very easy, uh, very <coughs> usual feature. Then I also have the all the tracking, the general tracking, which takes rotation and, and positioning. So if you move your head, it's always uh, give you the parallax, but can also give you rotation only. So now it doesn't matter how I moved, I only get rotation. And this mimics what you have with uh, Google Cardboard. So if you're doing an animation for a Google Cardboard, you might want to preview it with only rotation to see what the user is going to experience because this is what you're going to render. Or can just have no tracking at all, which is, yeah. Sometimes you just want to see what you're looking at and whatever. Uh, that's pretty much it. Once you're done using it, you can just close and uh, remove the, the add-on. This at the moment only runs on Windows. There's another version that runs on, on on Mac and on Linux. But this other version requires... Um, it's not so good. So if I put here, Oculus Legacy and... No, this other version has a pop-up. You need to move this uh, to an external HMD. And then when press here, pff, yeah. This won't even work because Oculus only allow one runtime to be in the computer at a time. And I have the, the latest one, the 0 0.7. But anyways, for Linux and, and Mac, you can have, a, there's an alternative as well, just not as nice. And that, uh, that's about it. I would like to, th uh, to thank a lot, uh, Daniel Lara for his sample file. It works great and, and really illustrate the potential of VR as an authoring tool and, 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 and VR to be introduced in the pipeline as soon as possible. It, so it doesn't have to wait only all the way to the final project to be rendered to see how it looks like. But you'll be able to even in a preset and while you're working to, to use it. And even if you're not rendering for VR, just have a regular architecture uh, space, you can still use an Oculus like device, such as this one, to yeah, to see how actually what you're modeling, how does it look in 3D before you commit to build this this project. Uh, that's about it. I hope you like it. Uh, once again, this is the Visgraph, is a computer graphic lab in Rio, uh, headed by uh, Professor Luis Velho, and we're developing these tools for Oculus, integrating with Blender. I'm very excited about it. Hope you like it. Bye.